Hope from the Institute for Health Metrics and Evaluation, a research center at the University of Washington. Experts suggest it's now been 12 days since the projected peak in deaths for Arizona and the daily deaths from the coronavirus could end as soon as May the 20th. In order for Arizona to reopen, which is something the governor badly wants to do, President Trump is calling on states to ramp up testing. But that's an issue that has plagued Arizona since the outbreak started. There just aren't enough tests to go around. Team Trials' Erica Stapleton is digging into where the state is falling short and what it will take to increase access to those tests. Erica. For several weeks, the state says test shortages have been to blame, and that's still the case. But we're starting to see some of our commercial lab partners drastically increase their testing capabilities. Yet the state still has limits on who can get swabbed. It's been a long two weeks since Governor sure Ducey said, said this during a town area. hall interview. I believe we'll be in a place where eventually everyone that wants a test will be able to get a test. But we're not there yet. Just ask Kathleen De La Torre in surprise. I was exhausted. I could not get out of bed. I had a super high fever. I had no appetite. And so I finally was like, could this be the virus? Kathleen started to feel sick mid-March and wanted a COVID-19 test. She tried her own doctor, a drive through site, even the Department of Health, but was told she didn't fit the testing mold. They still said I didn't qualify because I was too young and I did not work in a hospital or an assisted living facility. It was really frustrating. I just felt like, why can't I just get a test? Since mid-March, the state has directed labs to prioritize testing people in those categories and has discouraged doctors from running tests on any patient, leaving people like Kathleen to guess about their health. She self-quarantined for two weeks anyway, not wanting to put her family, especially her father, who just had a stroke, at risk. When the Department of Health told me to at this point just assume that this that I have the coronavirus. It was a little frustrating to hear, especially when you hear other states are testing, you know, thousands of people a day and drive up sites. It's not that easy here. You have to be screened and approved before going through this new Walgreens drive through testing site in El Mirage. And private labs are expanding capabilities. Quest Labs claiming they can now run 45,000 tests a day across the country, while Arizona's test tracker shows almost 50,000 tests total. And keep in mind, that number doesn't include people like Kathleen, operating on assumption, not results. Because I would really just like to know. Private labs like TGen and Flagstaff say they have more than doubled the number of tests they're able to run on a daily basis, but they're not operating at capacity because they aren't getting enough swabs. They say part of that is a supply chain issue, and the other part is that not enough samples are being taken in the state. We're in Phoenix. Erica Stapleton, 12 News.